We have a big announcement to, to make. I know you've already made it on social media, but yeah. with us, uh, what's the big news? Uh, I committed to Oregon State. Are you excited? I am excited. Yeah, it's very exciting. And what are you going to be doing? I'll be playing football down there. And, um, you know, once I go down there, just I'm just a full-time football player. Exciting. Yep. And you've been successful at Camas High School over the years, playing mm -hmm. football, part of the state championship team. Yep. Now, you had several offers from other colleges. Can you go over that? I did. I had University of Idaho. Um, they offered me back in March. And then I had uh, Georgetown University and Columbia University. And those are kind of the three that I had. And I had also had interest from other schools in like the Big Sky Conference, uh, the Mountain West Conference, and then a few Pac-12s also had interest in me. And why did you choose Oregon State? Uh, Oregon State, I mean, just my family and I felt that it was the best fit for me. Um, it was all about like, where could I fit in best with the offense? Um, how I like the campus, how I like the coaches. Um, you know, I've already been to some of their camps and I've been to their campus. So um, I, I've already liked um, the campus and all, everything about that. And then also I've developed a really good relationship with our coaching staff. And uh, that played a big, big factor in, uh, to my decision. And then also to add on to that, like my little brother is a, a baseball commit there for the 2023 class. And so that was like a cool addition, but it wasn't like a make or break type thing. That's a whole other story too. Yeah. Cause he's just a sophomore, right? Yeah, he is a sophomore. Z train. Yep. Okay, now let's go into the relationship you have with Oregon State. What's going on there? Um, well, it all started about two and a half years ago, I'd say or the season going into my sophomore year is uh, when I first went to their camp. And um, I just have developed a relationship with them, with them ever since then. And uh, it actually slowed down a little bit because they had a quarterback commit a few months ago. And so I wasn't really talking to them that much, but then it picked back up about three weeks ago, right before they offered me a PWO. And then uh, actually on that same phone call that they offered me, I committed, so that was pretty cool. Excellent. Now you've had a good history with Camas too. Can you walk us through what's been going on? Um, well, my history at Camas has been pretty interesting actually. Um, knowing that I had an injury freshman year, I broke my collarbone. Right. And then my sophomore year, I actually played up on varsity for um, the first time. Well, I, I suited varsity my freshman year, then actually played in a game my sophomore year. And then my sophomore year went pretty good. It went smooth, but uh, we didn't have that good of a season as a team. And then my junior year, we won the state championship, but Halfway through the season, I broke my collarbone, my other collarbone, so. Um, bionic collarbones? Yeah, bionic collarbones, I got, I got bad. That was, that was there for that. We caught that whole injury and the whole aftermath of that. Yeah, it was Are crazy. you fully recovered from that? I am, yeah, I'm 100%. How long did it take? Um, well, actually, I was 100% a week after the sta uh, state championship game. So that was pretty disappointing, but it was cool to see, um, you know, us win. What made that team special? You know, I think just the, just the chemistry of our team. Um, we've all been playing football and just other sports in general since, shoot, I don't even know, since we've been really young. And so, well, I've known you since you've been eight, eight years old. Yeah, I think. You're 18 now, right? Yeah, so 10 years. I mean, we've been playing like all-star baseball and stuff and little league and football and basketball and all that stuff together. And I think that has had a huge impact on how we did last year as a team. And what did that whole experience teach you from down from, you know, peewee football and, you know, little league and everything you've done? Soccer too, right? Yeah, I mean, it hasn't just taught me lessons in just sports, but it's taught me lessons in life too. I mean, you know, there's a lot of life lessons that you can learn from playing sports, but, um, you know, we've all dreamed of, you know, playing for Camus football when we were older. Um, when, we were, when we were young kids, we were, that's what we dreamed of. And so to finally do that and win a state championship was pretty cool. Did that history help you because you guys knew each other pretty well? Uh, yeah, I, th I think it helped us out a lot. Um, you know, just knowing everybody on the team, you know, we were all close, we were all, we were all brothers and that helped out a lot. And what are you hearing now about football practice? Is that gonna happen? Um, so right now we have a window to practice from November 2nd to November 28th. It's in like five man pods, helmets only. Um, and then our real practices start, our, our season practices start in February, February 17th. And our first game is supposed to be March 7th, I believe. Do we think that's going to happen? I mean, I hope it's going to happen. That's the plan. That's the plan now, <laughs> that's right? That's the plan, yeah. Okay. And how are you feeling about the, the whole shutdown that we're dealing with? Um, I mean, my personal opinion is, you know, it's, it's whatever. I mean, you just kind of have to go with the flow. Right. Um, can't really do anything about it, but I mean. Your classes are doing okay and everything? Yeah. I mean, I'd rather be in school, but right. online school is not that fun for me. Got it. All right, well, thanks, Jake. Yeah, thank you.